Hey, what's going on guys? Sibzy here, and in today's video, we're gonna go over 15 Valcam spots on the map Villa. And make sure you stick around to the end because I threw in a few Nitro spots to use with these Valcams in order to get some really good early picks into the round. So anyways, let's jump right into it. So these Valcam spots are gonna be based off the site, starting off with Aviator and Games, moving to Statue, and then Kitchen and Dining. So starting off with cam number one, we have a bookshelf cam, great for the Aviator and Games objective. All you guys are gonna do is break the bottom left corner of this cabinet, break the center panel, and then tuck your Valcam right into the corner there. This will allow you to see all the way down the 90 hallway. And as the attackers get top main control, study control, they'll start applying pressure into this bar hallway. And you'll be able to see as they walk all the way up to the bar door to let you know what's going on. And a lot of the time, this camera stays up pretty often. Now, this next cam is going to be a great way to get an early pick on the round. So, of course, we have the default 90 cam, which is great. But, of course, it's going to get shot once the attackers take the top red control and try to push down 90. So, we're going to place this Valk cam on the top left corner of this arch. And this will be sort of a secondary cam to utilize. You have that 90 default cam that you can use. And then once that gets shot, you'll have this Valk cam that allows you to see as the attackers take that 90 control. And then ultimately, we can use this to potentially go for a pretty good early pick. Now moving on to cam number three, we need some info for the red stair. So the cam that I like to throw is going to be a red bench cam. Now there are multiple red cams that you can throw, but I like this one a lot for the aviator and game site because this allows you to see all the way down 90 while also seeing the aviator doorway to let you know when they walk into sight. And the great thing about this cam is a lot of the coverage that you have in front of it with the foliage of that plant. And it really can't be seen unless you are exactly at the top of the red stairs. From in front of it, it's pretty hard to see. As you guys can see from the top red, you can kind of see this cam a lot better. But a lot of the time, this cam goes unnoticed and it gives you some really good info. Now, making our way back into pool table or games. In this case, we have a sight cam. So you vault up onto the pool table, you throw your valve camera right on the light bulb. And this will let you see the entirety of games. And it's really hard to shoot this camera unless you're almost directly underneath it. You can see the vault door. If the bar wall gets open from study, you can see that as well. And as the attackers are pushing up, they really cannot see this cam until you are practically touching the pool table. So this is great to see inside of the objective for those of you that like some in-sight cams. And this can be really good to deny the plant or at least let you know that the attackers are walking into the site. Now, moving on to cam number five, we have a study cam. So we're going to throw it up to the top left corner of the fireplace. And although this camera doesn't let you see the study door, you can't see them walk into study. You can still hear them walk into study, but the primary use for this camera is to see the study to aviator doorway to let you know when the attackers are applying pressure directly onto the site. Now, this next camp spot is going to be primarily used to help you see if the attackers are going for a plant. So as the attackers push master side top red, they will plant behind the vault door typically, and this camera will let you see that vault door. So we're going to throw it on the right hand side of the bomb chassis. This will let you see as the attackers are walking through the study door on the right hand side, as well as that vault door plant on the left hand side. And the great thing about this camera is it cannot be seen from the top red doorway because the bomb chassis is in the way. Now you can see it as you enter that study door, but a lot of the time the attackers are going to be focused on vault door as well as any holes in the wall. So focused on taking gunfights in the site. So they probably won't look for this Falk cam and you can use this to throw some nitros to deny the plant. Before we jump back into the video, if you guys learned something new in this video or enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. You guys can always unsubscribe later. Anyways, let's get back into it. Now, moving on from Aviator and Games, we have Statue and Trophy, and cam number seven is going to be a Master Cam. We're going to go to the southeast corner of Master, and we're going to throw it to the back of this plant here. This will allow you to see the entirety of Master while also having a lot of foliage cover in front of it, so it's a little bit harder to see from the attacker's point of view. Now, there is an alternative camera that you can use for that room, and it's going to be sticking a camera to the bottom of the bed or underneath the master bed. So we're going to go into laundry. We're going to open up the ceiling above us. Make sure you break both sets of panels so that you can actually have a hole, and then you're going to throw your camera right through that hole we just made. This will stick to the underside of the master bed. You can see the feet of the attackers as they're running around master towards bathroom inside of closet. But the downside for this camera is the drone hole on the right there. And as the drones are coming in through the drone hole, they'll be direct eye level with the drone. So they could potentially see this pretty quickly. So do keep that in mind. Now, moving on from there, we're going to set up a camera inside of bathroom to let us know when the attackers are pushing Astro. So we're going to go ahead and vault in the top, throw our camera on the right side of the TV. And this will let you see as the attackers are pushing that bathroom door. You can still hear them to your left if they are walking into bathroom. 
but the primary use for this camera is to see that bathroom door as they walk into Astro and a lot of the time the attackers are not really looking behind them inside of bathrooms so this camera will probably not get shot and it gives you that very good active information on that bathroom door to let you know when they're actually being aggressive into Astro. Now I said previously that there are multiple red cams that you can use and this one will be an alternative so we're going to throw a camera right onto the chandelier there's no exact spot for this camera and although it's a relatively common camera in a relatively common area of the map I promise you this camera goes unshot so often people just forget it exists so definitely check this cam out because it shows all of the red stairs as well as all the way down 90 hall great for this objective since red stairs is a pretty high traffic area. Now making our way back into Astro, I have two different cameras that you can use inside of Astro depending on what sort of information you want. So the first camera is going to go right on the end of the telescope. Now I know it seems like it's in a relatively obvious spot. Make sure you're sticking the camera so it faces straight down back at you so that you can use it to see a little bit more into Astro. But it allows you to see as the attackers are walking out of that bathroom door as well as coming up the Astro stairs. And from the bathroom doorway, they cannot see this camera unless they walk in. Now from the Astro stairs, they can sort of see this camera, but they're going to be focused on so many different angles that they probably will not be able to look for it while they're focused on taking some of these gunfights. And this allows you to see the entirety of Astro. Now an alternative camera that you can use for this room is going to be a camera in the top northeast corner. Now the downside of this one is it doesn't see as much. You cannot see the Astro stairs and you can still see the bathroom door, pretty much the same info as they walk out. But the downside is the Astro stairs. So do keep that in mind and let me know what you guys think. Now we have all of this information around the site, but what about inside of Statue? It's probably the most commonly planted site for this objective. So we're going to go and throw a camera on the southwest corner of the statue there. This will allow you to see the brick doorway as they walk in. You can see the top red landing doorway as well as the breach. If it does get open and they walk through the breach, you can see that as well. And as the attackers are walking in the brick doorway, they really cannot see this camera. It's relatively well tucked into the ceiling there. And as they are on the breach as well, they really can't see this camera all that well. And it allows you to see pretty much every common plant spot that the attackers can have for the statue objective. Now, moving away from statue and trophy, we have kitchen and dining. So the first camera is going to be an alternative bathroom camera. This will be great to allow some nitros. So instead of throwing the TV camera, we need some more visibility. So I'd like to throw the camera on the right or left hand side of these plants. And the right hand side gives you some great visibility. And as the attackers are vaulting in bathroom window, it has a lot of coverage from that plant in front of it. And nobody's really looking straight up when they walk through that bathroom doorway. And as you guys can see, this gives you great visibility inside of bathroom to allow you to go for some nitros from inside of kitchen to potentially go for those early picks because master is relatively pushed or commonly pushed when the attackers are taking this objective to open up above the site. So you can use this to your advantage to go for an early pick. Now, moving on from there, we have a site cam for dining. Now, there are some common spots that people use cameras. They like to throw it in this corner right above the laundry door or maybe right above the laundry breach. Now, this camera is going to be inside of the lampshade of this lamp here right in front of the laundry door. Now, it may take a couple tries to throw it, but you want to have it basically straight face straight into the lamp. And this will allow you to have a lot of coverage. The lamp is super bright. It's so hard to see this camera just because it basically sort of blends in with the bright light. And you can see the entire laundry door. You can see the default plant spots on the laundry doorway right under the lampshade. And then the other common spot is going to be right by the bomb chassis inside of Tetris or near the dining table here. So you can see all of the common default plant spots. So you can use that to help deny the plant. And it's so hard to see this camera. Now moving on from there, we have a China camera. So you're gonna use these lampshades to your advantage. So if you throw it into the lampshade, you can see it almost sort of blends in because of the way it kind of acts, interacts with light. And it sort of goes a little bit translucent. So you can see the entirety of the China door as well as they push they push into China into kitchen. And there are three different lights that you can use. You can see there are two more inside of kitchen, so we can use this to our advantage. And instead of using this exact China camera, you can use something like this, which is sort of a China and kitchen camera. You can see the pantry door a little bit. You could see a tiny bit into dining, but you could see the entirety of kitchen as well as China as they walk into that China doorway. Now the last spot cam before we move on to nitros is going to be a memo camera. So we're going to go ahead and tuck it into the ceiling here next to all of these different support beams. 
and you're going to see that it sort of blocks a little bit of visibility, but I think it shows enough for you to know as the attackers are walking into Memo from both the bike's window as well as the Memo door from bottom red, and it allows you to see as they are pushing towards that dining door, which is ultimately the most important. And the great thing about this is although it does block a little bit of visibility, it also makes it harder for the attackers to actually see this camera because of all of the different beams in front of it. Now you can alternatively use this camera or I guess throw the camera a little bit differently, maybe throw it a tiny bit lower. It'll give you more visibility, but it would also make the camera easier to spot from the attacker's point of view. So do keep that in mind. If you guys would like to support us in game, make sure to check out the esports section on the in-game store and go to the Astralis tab and get your hands on the two Disrupt Gaming in-game weapon skins as well as the two charms. Anyways, let's get back to the video. So moving on to Nitros, this is great for the Aviator and Games objective. This will be using that 90 cam that we talked about previously, and this will let you place a Nitro inside of Living to go for an early pick. So the 90 cam will get shot, of course, the default 90 cam that being, and will hopefully keep that Valk cam up and you can use this to ping the floor, ping where your nitro is at. You can either set on the camera yourself or have someone set on the camera for you and place your nitro right on the ping. So we'll ping it again, place the nitro there. So as the attackers are pushing up 90, they'll shoot that 90 default cam. You'll still have this foul cam and then you can blow it up and get a pretty good early pick. So the next nitro spot is going to be for the statue door as well as top landing. So you have that top red cam by the bench that you can use as sort of an audio cue to let you know that they are near that statue door or near landing. But an alternative thing that you can do is just sort of place a camera inside of statues. So if we go into statue, we're going to throw it up into the top corner of the arch on the northeast side. And as the attackers are pushing up to the statue door into landing as well, you can have a pre-placed nitro or you could just be down here ready to throw the nitro when they're walking through statue because it's pretty common for them to push into master and they have to go through this door in order to get there. So with that being said, you set up the nitro just like so as they walk through statue or if they walk through the statue door into landing, then you can just simply blow up that nitro and get the early pick. Now moving on to statue and trophy, I have two really good nitros for you guys and the great thing about this one is it's going to be two nitro lineups just above the reinforcement so you can simply make the holes with your deagle and we're going to use these windows inside of master in order to throw our nitro a little bit further. So when the attackers are entering master they're going to be peeking this master doorway so we're going to nitro exactly that. So we're going to line up with the middle of the left side reinforcement, the right side of the statue and then we're gonna go up the middle reinforcement here, just to the bottom of this support beam, right like so, and throw our nitro. It's not too hard. If you line it up, it's pretty easy, and it lands right next to the master door. So like I said, as they are clearing top red, swinging into statue, and as well as trophy, you're gonna get hit by this nitro. And you can use that valve cam that we threw inside of master and have the information there to know when to throw this valve cam. Now this next one is, we're going to line up on the right hand side of that split doorway and this one's super simple you just throw it in the middle of the wall here just like so it'll go through the hole above the breach as well as the window to land right by that closet door so as they're walking out of closet to get into master they'll get hit by that nitro and like i said you can use either of those two cams that we showed in order to know when they are in these two spots now this next one is pretty simple, it's going to be for the dining and kitchen objective. We're going to open up a hole above the wall just like we did for the statue and trophy objective and using that camera on the lampshade that we threw previously, this will let you see into laundry to let you know exactly when you need to throw the nitro. So just like so, we'll throw that camera. As you guys can see, we can look into laundry, we can see that outside laundry door so you can sit here, wait, have a teammate call out for you to let you know when to throw the the nitro and then it'll simply just go ahead and land inside of laundry it's not too hard there's no crazy lineup as long as you get it through the hole you'll get a pick on somebody entering laundry now if you guys made it this far into the video let me know what your favorite camera was or favorite nitro spot in my opinion this one is pretty nuts so we're going to open up the top of the reinforcement on the left hand side of that bar to study wall i guess in this case it'll be the right hand side from inside of the objective we're going to line up with the right side of the bar just this decoration here and we're going to use this reinforcement as our next lineup. So you're going to look for these dots. It's not going to be the center of the reinforcement. It's going to be a little bit to the right, the next anchor point. And we're going to go straight up from there. So again, line up with the bar. We're going to look for those dots. 
We're going to go a little bit above the, where the wall meets the ceiling. So line straight up, go a little bit higher and then throw. It's not too difficult. It's pretty easy to throw this nitro. And the best thing about this is it lands right on that study door. It doesn't reach outside exactly, but as the attackers are entering study or if they are super close to the study doorway, you'll definitely get an early pick. And the best thing about this one is there is no downside. There is no problem with throwing this nitro. You're not in a risky spot. You can simply throw it from inside of the objective. And you need, if you need to throw a camera in a different spot inside of study to see that study door, you can do that as well to go for and secure that early pick. Anyways, guys, that's going to be all for me. If you enjoy the content that I post on the Astralis channel, make sure to check out my socials, which are on screen right now. If you guys want to check out any of the other content that I make, but with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you guys don't miss a future video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.